Дальность 870, скорость 3,5. Range is 870 meters. Range rate 3.5. Принято. Copy. Once uh, the docking is accomplished, uh, the relative motion between the two vehicles will be allowed to dampen out. Uh, the two docking mechanisms will settle out against one another. That will uh, begin uh, the retraction of the uh, docking probe and the initiation of the closing of hooks and latches on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. That uh, will be followed uh, by about uh, two orbits or three hours worth of leak checks on both sides of the docking interface uh, by the uh, station crew uh, before the hatches uh, will be opened following the equalization of pressure uh, at the uh, vestibule between uh, the pier's docking compartment and the progress itself. Range. We're about four minutes away from the initiation of the fly around of the International Space Station by the Progress to align itself with the pier's docking compartment. Okay. Meanwhile, the station is uh, traveling 225 miles above the Earth, approaching the west coast of Africa, soon to pass directly over Senegal. The poles are on for breaking burn. Uh, range is 540. Range rate 1.75. Copy. The power uh, thrusters are off. Range is 500 even. Range rate 1 decimal 2. The target is in the very center. Copy. Looking past the Canadarm2, the robotic arm on the International Space Station that will be used uh, quite a bit uh, during the upcoming arrival and uh, week-long visit of the shuttle Discovery and its astronauts uh, to the complex on the STS-133 mission. You see the uh, progress, its wings spread in its final approach uh, for docking. The fly around to begin about a minute and a half from now to align uh, the progress's forward docking probe with the pier's docking compartment. Just uh, to the right and slightly above the center of the crosshairs in this external engineering camera on the progress, uh, you see at the aft end of the Zvezda service module, that's the 39 progress vehicle that uh, docked uh, automatically a few weeks ago. Range rate is 1.0. Fly around in progress. The arrival of progress 40 today will place uh, four Russian vehicles at the International Space Station. The uh, visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Tom Erkenswick, uh, reports uh, to Flight Director Courtney McMillan that the fly around has begun. The progress uh, on automatic approach to align itself to the pier's docking compartment.
Дальность 350, скорость 075. Range is 350 meters. Range rate 0 decimal 75. Copy. A good view of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Again, uh, after leak checks are uh, completed over the course of uh, the rest of the day today, the hatches uh, will be opened uh, to the Progress vehicle. The crew will begin to unload uh, the two and a half tons of cargo. That unloading process uh, will take uh, several days to complete and uh, is likely to span into the docked time frame of the upcoming visit of Discovery to the International Space Station. The target is um, practically in the center. And uh, a little bit of a bias is in the pitch. Copy. Service module, a large diameter, one square. for video downlink. Station Houston, go ahead. Hey, uh, good afternoon, Shannon. Hey, do you, uh, you guys require that MPC and uh, I guess you might want the video from the uh, uh, fluid experiment from Friday? And Scott, we'll catch it tomorrow. We have lots of good coverage tomorrow, so we'll get it tomorrow. Okay, great, thank you. You're very welcome. As the progress uh, begins its final approach, uh, Scott Kelly, uh, the flight engineer, as part of the Expedition 25 crew, uh, conversing with uh, spacecraft communicator Shannon Lucid here in Mission Control in Houston about uh, the downlink of experiment video that will be deferred until tomorrow. No rush to get that down. Uh, first things first, and that is uh, the progress as it currently tracks uh, over the uh, Sahara Desert and the western edge of Algeria, moving from southwest to northeast, soon to cross over the Mediterranean. Range is uh, 250, range rate uh, 0 decimal 25. Copy. Fly around continues. Just a couple of minutes from now, uh, the progress will uh, put the brakes on and initiate several minutes of station keeping uh, to enable uh, Russian flight controllers to assess its alignment to the pier's docking compartment before the command is issued uh, to reinitiate final approach. We have a good visual on the progress vehicle. Copy, Oleg. And it's um, practically at Nader already. Copy. Range is 220, confirmed visually, and uh, range rate is 0 decimal 2, copy, and roll maneuvers in progress. And you can see the progress reorienting itself with a roll maneuver. 
prior to the beginning of station keeping. Again, uh, this will align uh, its solar arrays properly for final approach for contact and capture. You see uh, the piers docking compartment port coming in view in the upper left quadrant of this engineering view that is provided by an external camera on the Progress resupply ship. And uh, the Progress has initiated station keeping. This uh, will last uh, for about uh, three and a half minutes or so. One. one final opportunity for the Russian flight controllers to assess the alignment of the progress to the piers docking compartment. In the lower left-hand quadrant of this view, you can see the accordion-like uh, arrays of the Zarya module, the uh, FGB, as the Russians uh, have called it. That was the first element launched uh, of the International Space Station back on November 20th, 1998. Ironically enough, uh, on November 20th, uh, Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin will mark one year of aggregate time in space on uh, three flights uh, he has accomplished, uh, STS-112 uh, back on the shuttle in uh, late 2002 as commander of Expedition 15 a few years ago and now as a flight engineer for Expedition 25. Those... Uh, arrays on the uh, Zarya module uh, were folded up, uh, no longer required uh, to enable uh, radiators on the International Space Station to be fully deployed. Switch to a different OKR antenna, lock on, confirmed. Standing by for another antenna swap. And that's complete. Sasha, are you still there? This is uh, Vladimir Solovyev. Yes, I'm here. Sasha, switch to Toro. Copy. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, activate Toro. Okay. Operation activated on Toro. Activating manual control. Plus X, back out and activated. Tor is on. And uh, in the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, Chief Flight Director Vladimir Soloviev has directed Alexander Kaleri uh, to uh, switch uh, to the telerobotic lo telerobotically operated uh, backup manual rendezvous system, the Toru. So Kaleri now in manual control of the flying of the Progress. Left-hand controller. Not clear at this point uh, why uh, the switch was made from the CORS system that had guided in uh, the progress to this point uh, just 200 meters away from its docking port. Kaleri now manually flying the Progress 40 for its docking to the pier's docking compartment. A range is about 150 meters. Kind of hard to... Uh, assess uh, what the range rate right now is. Okay, we copy range 150. And uh, it's a square and a half now. Copy. I can't tell it the exact uh, range rate, but it's very small, if there's anything. It's uh, no greater than 